If I see one more no foundation makeup look that's just a full face of concealer, I may scream. Isn't the whole purpose of not using foundation to have a lighter makeup look and like let our skin breathe? I actually went years without wearing foundation, so I feel like this is a specialty of mine. And I'm gonna show you how to actually do a no foundation breathable makeup look. I just primed with the e.l.f. Hydrating Primer Serum and then filled in and set my brows. If you are not using foundation, you will want to use primer because your makeup needs something to adhere to. I like to use a really gentle illuminator when I'm not wearing foundation. It just gives the skin an extra little something. Color correct if you need it. Concealer is going to be your best friend if you are not wearing foundation, but you don't have to use it all over your face. As you can see, I am just using it for spot concealer, and then I'll show you when I go back under my eyes with it. We are not sweeping a massive triangle or anything. Two dots, eyeshadow prep. To get the most coverage out of it, you'll want to use a brush to blend it out. That's it for concealer. You don't have to do contour, but if you want to, go ahead and add a little now. Sometimes I just skip straight over contour and go right into powder bronzer. If you wanted to do a cream or a liquid blush, liquid I would definitely do before the powder bronzer. Cream, I honestly think you can do before or after. I'm just going to go straight to powder. This is the L'Oreal True Match in the shade Tender Rose. It is a powder, but it has a slight like sheen to it. Before I do anything else, I'm going to set with setting spray. Today I'll do more of like a full eye look so you can see that true no foundation makeup doesn't have to be like the bare minimum. I'm gonna take a medium brown shade. I know it's hard to see because it's almost out, but this is my replacement for it. And just with a dense crease brush, I'm just gonna take that into the crease and onto the outer third. I'm gonna take this darker purpley brown and just get a little bit concentrated, a little bit more in the crease, but I'm still using that same brush and also taking it to the outer corner. I take that same color on a smudge brush. This is the C brush from e.l.f. and just bring it right under the eye. With a lighter, brighter shade, I'm gonna bring some life back into this eye by just tapping this on the inner two thirds. I'm gonna take a blending brush with nothing on it and just circular motions to blend all that together. Take a little shimmer color. This is like a shimmery baby pink and put it in the inner corner and on the brow bone. I like to smudge out a little eyeliner on the outer corner. All right, we're gonna take a break from the eyes before we do mascara and go back to the face. I'm gonna use a little loose setting powder and I do mean a little. I set under the eyes right here around the nose and if you have porous area right there, hit that chin if you need it between the eyebrows. Because I did do that contour, I'm just going to sharpen it up with some powder. Roll the lashes and add some mascara. You can do absolutely whatever you want to the lips. I did two Milani products. This is their color statement lip liner in nude and one of their creamy lipsticks in nude cream. And that is how you do no foundation makeup. Love you guys. I'm truly amazed at how many people think you have to wear foundation. You don't have to wear foundation. You could do a full makeup look without foundation. So let me show you. First prime, I love the Glow Recipe Dew Drops. See how dewy and glowy I look now? To cover up redness and pimples or whatever, we're just going to use concealer. Focus this on the areas that really need it, and this is going to give you a much lighter feel. You're not going to feel like you're wearing so much makeup. Then using a sponge, you're just going to start tapping the concealer into your skin. I love this because it gives me just the right amount of coverage without feeling heavy or cakey. See, look at that. No foundation foundation necessary. And you definitely want to set it with powder, otherwise it's going to move around and crease throughout the day. Add cream blush after setting with powder to bring back that glow. If you have sparse brows like me, you definitely want to fill them in a little bit with a brow pencil. I'll take some eyeshadow or some highlighter and just add that to the high points of your face. It's going to make you pop and sparkle a little bit. It looks really pretty. Then just add some mascara. For lip liner, I love going with a brown. It makes my lips look a lot poutier. Add a gloss on top and that's your really simple and easy makeup look with no foundation.